Hello, and welcome to the daily number workout for fifth grade. Today is the number 75. So let's get started with our word form. 75. And because it ends with a five, it is an odd number. Let's get with our factors. So we're gonna start off with one and 75. One times 75 is 75. Two doesn't go in because it's odd. Three goes in 25 times three quarters makes 75 cents. Now, since, well, and the next number we would try would be four and four doesn't go in because it's odd. We know five goes in because look at this, it ends with a five and 25, five times five is 25. So we know five is gonna go in, but if we're not sure how many times we need to do our division, so let's get our scrap paper out again. And we're gonna do 75 divided by five. Five goes into seven one time. One times five is five. We're gonna subtract that out. Seven minus five is two. Five doesn't go into two, so we know that column's done. Bring down the five. Five goes into 25, five whole times, because five times five is 25. And that's how many times five goes into 75. Six does not go in because it's odd. Seven would go in if it was 77 or 70. Eight does not go in. Eight goes into 72, then 80. Nine doesn't go in because seven plus five does not add up to nine. It adds up to 12 and then one plus two is three. Eight does not go in. It goes into 72 and 80. Well, nine doesn't go in, okay. And we're done. That's it. <clears throat> Onward and upward do our multiples. So here we go. One times 75 is 75. Let's do two 75s. Two times five is 10, drop the zero, carry the one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15. So we have 150. Let's do three 75s. Three times five is 15, drop the five, carry the one. Three times seven is 21, plus one is 22. Two 25, four 75s. Four times five is 20, drop the zero, carry the two. Four times seven is 28, plus two is 30, 300, 75. We want five 75s, so five sets of three quarters. Five times five is 25, drop the five, carry the two. Five times seven is 35, plus two is 37. So that's 375, six 75s. Six times five is 30, drop the zero, carry the three. Six times seven is 42, plus three is 45, 450, seven 75s. Seven times five is 35, drop the five, carry the three. Seven times seven is 49, plus three is 52. 525, eight 75s. Eight times five is 40, drop the zero, carry the four. Eight times seven is 56, plus four is 60, 600. Nine seventy fives. Nine times five is forty five. Drop the five, carry the four. Nine times seven is sixty three plus four is sixty seven. Six hundred and seventy five. And then ten times any number is that number with a zero. And we're done with the first ten multiples of seventy five. Let's move on to fractions. So hopefully you've checked your work and you're patting yourself on the back as usual. Let's move on to fractions, decimals, percents, and ratios. All right, 
So real quick, we know our fraction of the day is, I'm gonna move these up so that I have plenty of room on my paper for all of our work, is uh, 75 out of 100 days of the daily number workout. If we look up here, 75 does not go into 100 evenly, but 25 does. That's a big, greatest common factor, 25. So we're gonna divide the top number by 25. And we're going to divide the bottom number by 25. So 25 goes into 75 three whole times because three times 25 is 75. And 25 goes into 104 whole times because four times 25 is 100. So 75 hundredths in lowest term fractions is three fourths. So 75 is three fourths of 100. Let's go on to our decimal, which would be zero and 75 hundredths. And our percent would be 75%. So if you walk into Hobby Lobby and they have a sale of 75% off, you get 75 cents off of every dollar. Pretty good deal. Our ratio would be 75 to 100 or 75 colon 100. We would see that out in statistics and research. Let's go with our word form of the fraction. So that would be 70 five hundredths. Getting our tongue involved with that, getting that hundredths at the end. And then our decimal would be zero and 70 five hundredths. And our dollar, sum, our dollar form of this would be $0.75. And we would write that as such, $0. And remember those ands, 75 cents. All right, different forms. Here we go. All right, we have three factor pairs. So our area is going to, we're going to shorten it up today. Your teacher might go over the other ones with you, but I'm just going to shorten it up so that I don't take out all your time. So our first one is a 75 by one. So area equals 75 times one, which equals 75 square units. So we're talking about 75 squares. The perimeter of that would be a 75 plus one plus 75 plus one equals, well, we know two 75s is 150 plus these two. So it's 152 units. Down the road perimeter, you might change this up to two times the width plus two times the depth or the length. So there's other ways, different formulas to get that. Let's go on to the next one, which would be 25 times three. So a 25 wide by three deep squares is 75 square units. The perimeter of that would be 25 plus three plus 25 plus three equals 56, woo. Not much of all those square outer edges are showing, so less perimeter. Let's go on to the next one, which would be a 15 by five, which is 75 square units. So we're arranging them a little different. So it would be 15 wide plus five length plus 15 wide plus five. And so that would be 15 plus five is 20 plus 20, 40 units. All right, let's go right into our um, volume here. So I'm just gonna draw it out here, the first one. So we have 75 by one by one. So our first volume is 75 by one by one, which equals 75 cubic whoops, units. And then we're just going to switch this up in all the different ways. So this would be, let's change it up to one wide by 75 deep by one tall. 
or we have a one wide by one deep by 75 tall. So that's how we could do that scenario just by moving the cubes around in different positions like I've done in the past. All right, we're gonna do the next one, which is 25 wide by three deep by one tall. Or we could have a 25 wide by one deep by three tall. Or we could have a three wide by one deep by 25 tall. Or we can have a three wide by 25 deep by one tall. Or we can have a one deep wide by three deep by 25 tall. Or we can have a one wide by 25 deep by three tall. And there's six of those. All right, let's go on to the next one, which was the five by 15. So we're gonna have a 15 by five by one. Or we're gonna have a 15 by one by five. or we can have a five by one by 15, or we can have a five by 15 by one, or we can have a one by 15 by five, or a one by five by 15. It's all the different ways we can position our cubes to create uh, different shapes with 75 cubes. And there we have it, our daily number workout for number 75. Have a great day.